What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering with some hard-hitting news for you all. Twitch has finally uh, addressed the infection that is the tub meta. Now, as always, I will say up front, and I've had this position since Jump Street, it should not be banned. It should be age-gated. That's what I believe. Uh because its intent is to be spicy. Its intent is to extract money out of um, thirsty 15-year-olds. Uh, you will not convince me that they're doing this for art or that it's not their fault that they're in a barely there outfit and it's not their fault that people find that, that spicy. Uh, sorry, not sorry. You know, I support whammon. I support the hustle, but let's just call it what it is. There are a lot of people out there uh, who embrace the title, and that's okay. Like, I genuinely, look, if you have, you know, a fans account and you can get morons to pay you $5 a month to see you gape, uh, good. I mean, it's kind of a sad, uh, you know, a sad narrative on uh, society, but hey, you know what? Let me tell you this. Unfortunately, I can't offer that type of stuff, but it's Friday and it's been a while since I, uh, I told people about this and made a straight ask. In my description, there's a link to my Subscribestar, subscribestar.com slash the quartering. This is the single best way you can support the channel. Uh, it is a free speech alternative to Patreon. It is what makes sure I can keep this channel and Midwestly going and cover the topics that need to be covered. Uh, and if you enjoy my content and you're in the position to, after this video, please do consider, um, you know, uh, backing me on Subscribestar. Three bucks a month, five bucks a month. Uh, if you're in a position to, goes so far and um, it helps to you know, keep my editor paid and my thumbnail staff and Maggie and everything else. So I appreciate those that already support there and ask today, maybe consider joining me there. Now, the, 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 and sorry, no pictures of, you know, maybe a dog picture every once in a while, but, uh, sorry. So the Twitch just chatting strat uh, category is by far the largest on the platform. It probably wasn't always that way, and it depends what's going on in the gaming world, uh, if there's anything interesting going on. But it offers everything from IRL streams to people saltwater fishing to you know commentary channels to news channels. You know, if I was streaming on Twitch, I would probably be in just chatting because I would be covering you know that day's news. You got. Um, this type of stream, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, looks very moundulous. Um, but, you know, it, it's still, you know, the overall majority of what you see in this category is still regular regular everyday streamers. Not every free female streamer is a THOT. Many of them just grinding it out like you or I. Then you have this stuff. Um, you know, but regardless of that fact, what... and. <laughs> Okay, so now we're finding some of the. But anyway, uh, what had happened was what had happened was the tub meta, which essentially uh, allowed uh, females mostly to profit from floating around in barely there, uh, you know, essentially essentially like lingerie streams um, with a tiny loophole of filling a tiny tub in their living room and floating around in it um, with the explicit purpose of showing as much skin as is reasonably possible. No, you will not convince me that this was anything but a thirst trap. And that's okay. All right. I'm telling you, I, I don't have a problem with it. Um, and But Twitch announces it immediately gets roasted. You get Zach right here, Asmongold replying to them, booba.tv. Thank you, Twitch, for protecting the integrity and honor of our fine website and then he points out this which is hilarious it's a it's a site that just uh how, how do i say it? like categorizes all the uh types of streams that uh you know 
Uh, that's funny. Is that an anime avatar? <laughs> that's funny. But uh, yes, you get all the streamers that are, you know, pool Lara Croft trampoline. 3,000 viewers. Let's see what's going on here since I don't care about my Twitch partnership. Um, oh, yes. Definitely looks just like Lara Croft. I mean, she definitely didn't just buy a green bikini and, and rent out an Airbnb uh, and put two tiny, like, uh, pretend holsters on her legs. This is definitely a cosplay. But every five, every ten subs, she jumps on a tiny trampoline. I wonder what, is that what Lara Croft does? 4,200 viewers. Again. Again. Fine. But child, please. That's what, you know, th no. You see... Most people replying, laughing. Here's Tubbo reply, laughing with a crutch. You know, in other words, Twitch will continue to allow tub streams. So essentially the TLDR is that they created a category called pools, tubs, and beaches. So essentially it's their adult category. Basically you'll defend it and continue to put it on your home screen is what people are seeing. Much of the conversation we've seen focused on the people who are streaming this and similar content, including assumptions about their motivations and intentions. Um, look, yes, you're right. It's an intention or it's an assumption, Fedora man, but it's correct. 4,200 people watching probably the worst cosplay I've ever seen in my life. Subbing to make a, a girl's jumblies bounce up and down on a trampoline is not art. They're not doing it for a performative reason. They're doing it as a thirst trap. And we want to make sure... Uh, a few things clear. First and foremost, no one deserves to be harassed for the content they choose to stream. I agree. How they look or who they are. I agree. Agree. And we will take action against anyone who perpetuates this kind of toxicity on our service. So essentially, we will protect women. Second, while we have guidelines about spicy content, being found to be spicy by others is not against our rules. And Twitch will take enforcement action against women or anyone on our service uh, will I'm sorry, will not take enforcement against women or anyone on our service for their perceived attractiveness. What? This is like the dumbest response you could have made. Now, I'm fine. Like, essentially, they put it in its own category, so it'll make it easier to find for kids, which is uh, great for them. What they should have done is RGB'd it. <laughs> RGB'd it. Age gated. I was thinking of the Elgato tub project. What an absolute joke! Y'all added tubs category before any time. Before any time of wait. Before any time of queer one asked and petitioned for, and before even highlighted having a diverse. Oh, they're getting in there because they want a trans take. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, expectation banning tubs. Reality new category. I mean, that's all that they were gonna do. Um, that that's being found attractive by others is not against our rules. That's not really what is going on here. You know, essentially advertisers were getting mad. TLDR Twitch finally took some action seemingly on because advertisers had been complaining. This stuff could have been getting clarified and dealt with before it happens. Adpocalypse 2.0 could happen. Stop pushing off issues until major community backlash. Be proactive. I mean, essentially, uh, what's um, Slasher put this out too. That's that's basically true. You know, it's it's. Yeah, Twitch adds that being attractive is not against the rules. They will not ban people for how hot they are, a policy most gamers won't have to worry about. That's a fair burn. Um, but the idea that now Twitch will move the stuff into the category by themselves is an interesting enforcement. So if you're in the wrong category, staff will actually uh, move you there. Ultimately, this is because advertisers didn't want their ads on these type of streams, which I 100% understand. Um, let me be honest, though, okay? I don't think this is two different positions, but let me be serious about these tub streams for a second, okay? As an adult, 
nearing 40, uh, I think they're pathetic. I realize that they're cool to kids or whatever. Um, and that's fine. I, I, I wouldn't, and I'm not advocating for the removal. I do have a very genuine concern for the funnel that is created though from these tub streams. It's like a gateway for uh, prawn. That's what it is. So they give you 99% of it on these streams and then they say, oh, go to my link tree where I have a link to my, my OnlyFans account. And then these kids get down that road. Now I'm not against this type of content, but I do believe strongly that it is addictive uh, and that it is bad uh, just like anything when consumed in large quantities, that it is a distraction, that it creates unrealistic expectations for men. Uh, it creates uh, unreal unrealistic expectations for women in general, in real life. If all you do is consume this kind of stuff, you don't really know what like a real interaction with a female should be like. I'm concerned that men are being led astray uh, by this because, well, I am uh, a, I, I support men's rights and I support men. Uh, there are plenty of feminists out there supporting women. So while I don't think it should be banned, I do worry about the expectations and the slippery slope that is clearly in play here. It's a, it's a Twitch to OnlyFans pipeline that is only getting heated up. And if Twitch really cares about women then um, and men, maybe they should just reconsider this a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you again real soon.